Hello guys and welcome to episode 31 of my Total War Warhammer 3 campaign playing as Scarbrand leading the Exiles of Corn to take Urson's head. Today we're going to be grabbing Kran and attacking Uzkalani here but we can't do it this turn since I think everything was done so we're just going to be clicking onto the end turn button and seeing what happens what comes our way. That's funny because the balance of power for a lot of these nations seems to be like actually kind of even now but honestly it doesn't matter that much oh please attack me yes okay good this is really nice because it saves us a lot of movement although saying that it'd probably be better for us if we were able to attack them and then use the movement afterwards from winning the battle but oh well we'll jump on in play this out We'll be able to get the immunity after this and then we'll just rush back and go and deal with the main battle in order to get the soul. I do actually have these like soul grinder units. These ones are actually pretty rough, the uh, Nurgle ones, because they have a pretty nice ranged attack. Probably going to want to make sure that I'm on top of them. Otherwise, pretty straightforward. Just move forwards and wipe them out. They've got a couple of those big boys as well, the great unclean ones. Let's uh, get into formation. Servant of the Murder Lord. And off we go. Oh yeah, they're technically attacking us, aren't they? Oh, these were what I was talking about, the beasts of Nurgle. <laughs> they look so silly. Are these soul grinders, though. Got that really annoying ranged attack. Alright, we'll just drop these in here. I'm gonna get Scarbrand to go say hello. Oh damn, that unit's getting ripped. Let's pull them out. Ouch. Chaos warriors of core. All these exalted plague bearers that didn't get engaged are actually doing quite a lot of damage. This one's a lot less smooth than the last. I kind of <laughs> really did this badly. Yeah, letting a lot of units take too much damage there. Let's go get rid of that one. I really want to just try and keep an eye on these soul grinders. That. 
It's like a laser beam out the mouth. Oh, I was close for my uh, blood crushes there. Well, I think when we get the immunity, we get like fully replenished anyway, right? Well, that might not matter. The other thing is, I'm pretty sure getting the immunity just removes all of our movement range anyway. So, them attacking us now or after or us attacking them probably doesn't make a difference either. When <laughs> I think about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced by these soul grinders. I don't, I don't know if they'd be any better than just having another Minotaur unit or two. Like maybe they are relatively decent at like one on one with like larger entities. I'm just, just trying to figure out like what they're really useful for. Because the Nurgle ones there are, are quite obvious in their use. You know, like I had they're basically long range artillery. I'm just going to take more skulls from that. Uh, they would like a non-aggression pact. Is this... Like, do they just keep like respawning and then... <laughs> and then dying <laughs> every time? It's weird. That mission aborted. It's fine. Taint of Nurgle for Scarbrand that reduces his melee defense and armor piercing weapon damage. A bit annoying. Boundary of Bones. Drawn to destruction. Alright, let's just go grab this. Yeah, and we get fully replenished. Oh, I didn't reset our... Okay, that's good. Didn't reset my movement range. It was on Argus, the lost Sky Titan skull that Nurgle created his most disgusting phage. Thankfully, he has yet to unleash it upon the mortal world. It is from this plague that Pox Fulcrum has developed a powerful immune response, which is now yours. Okay, let's go get it. Meanwhile, we will destroy this. We'll put another of these. I'm going to have those go run together in a direction. Oh, that's also Kadak Kedrin's. Okay. Well, how about we send those two to destroy Kadak Kedrin, and we have Kran move to engage the Ice Court. And then we can pop out some more armies to help us with dealing with that. That's fine. Trade that. I'm gonna pop in these. Contest of the Blood God. Uh, this lad, unfortunately, on. got pretty much killed off. <laughs> he got wounded, so that's why he's there. I think a dimensional breach is actually not a terrible idea here because it gives me like a forward recruitment area. Get that upgraded. Pop in one of these.
upgrade that. Pop that in there. Well, this has a unique building. Where is this? The Eastern Steps. So Bloodwind Keep can build the Wrathgate. At the Wrathgate, every betrayer will meet their victim. But under its intimidating threshold, it is the wronged that shall be handed the axe. So extra corn corruption and allied recruitment cost reduction. There's also obsidian there. Interesting. Right, we might as well push that in there and we'll also put that in there. Just for a little bit of extra money. Uh, the floating mountain. We'll put this in there. Okay. Everything done. Moment available. Let's go for destroy. And we'll end the turn. Next turn, I think I might activate these skulls, like the extra skulls. Also, I completely forgot to move these guys. Thankfully, they move themselves. I think once we finish our third army, it's going to get pretty awesome in terms of ba uh, balance of power against these other factions. But where the hell has Arngren come from? Like, where is this Eagle Iris? Like, <laughs> do I play this out? <laughs> I mean, it is Iron Drakes and Slayers. The Slayers probably won't do too well against my Chaos Warriors. So it'll just be a matter of, like, kiting around the Iron Drakes. This might... might we might be able to win. We'd be very reliant on towers and whether or not they decide to take down the towers or not. The thing is as well is Ungrim is really difficult to kill so I don't know if this was even worth playing out. It probably would have been better off just like order resolving this and then sending an army back to deal with it. Yeah, I have no idea why Karak Kajun's over here. Maybe they're moving back towards their main fortresses? I don't know. <laughs> Crazy army though. Uh, how are we going to do this? I mean, kind of bunching up is probably the best way. I just need to protect a couple of these towers. Question is, which do we defend? Um, if we do something like this. And then have a unit defend. The units defend here. And then we have the rest down here. And then we build up this tower. What I'm thinking. We are pretty spread out right now, so technically we could have maybe ran down one side, but I'm not sure. Dwarves are slow, so we can try and take advantage of that by being patient and building some towers. The main thing is just like don't let them line of sight me with the Iron Drakes before we're engaged in melee. Way. 
I think we're just going to try and engage them here. We'll soon have enough to build that up. Well, they also have the rangers there. Why do I not have my army ability? Also, those blood leathers are not having a nice time. <laughs> those slayers are actually doing a lot of damage to my blood reaper. Let's let the uh, Chaos Warriors of Corn take over. And then these ones can go and attack there. Uh, huh. Okay, they've got some units behind us. There's just so many of these Iron Drakes that... Ouch. <laughs> They're able to always get an angle on us. What it seems at the moment. It's really awkward. That unit's just dead. This was worth playing out, honestly. <laughs> Annihilate them for destruction. It might be okay. The rangers get killed off by the dogs there. We get this tower up, like it starts pounding into these giant slayers, like yeah, it could work. Although these guys aren't having a good time. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I know it's so dependent around this. Doing so much damage. Like one on one, my Chaos Warriors of Corner are doing a pretty good job against the Iron Drakes, but just if they can get close, which they're not, so I'm just going to keep things sped up. We'll lose any second. There we go. And we took out a few units here and there, which will definitely slow down their expansion, because I'm going to assume that they're going to actually occupy this. Yeah, I think the best way to have engaged that might have been to just sally forth on one side, but with the Slayers moving quite fast, they can get behind me into the... Uh, capture points so the towers would probably not have been that useful definitely chip the army though yeah four units destroyed and they just sacked it okay Cool. Oh, Goat Tooth has 
entered the same one we have. Interesting. Oh, and he's right next to us. Well, ain't that handy. Right, we will perform this. Oh, does that only affect one army? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I guess better Scar Brown's army than any. Just take out Greasus. Greasus. All right, let's go. Let's jump on in. The only bad part about this is it uh, will damage my army that's just been fully replenished. But at the same time, I will probably get pretty much all the replenishment I need from going into like the in camp stance. A roasting and tenderizing enemy with point blank cannon fire creates delicious ready to eat meals. Lead belchers. That's cool. <laughs> Not sure they're going to be too useful for them, though. Wait, also, what happened to our ability to bring in... Blood letters. Like, what? <laughs> we'll send these over the top with soul grinders. And the rest can just go head on. Lead belchers actually do any damage. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see that damage? That was nuts. Creases. Creases, sorry. I keep calling him Creases. There he is. I probably should have put some fast units over here. <laughs> I should have put like the blood crushers up there. If I thought I was going to need them. Okay, so they do fire. damage when he gets beefed up it's going to be pretty nuts I think Rhesus is kind of messing up my dude though The 
But yeah, I feel like uh, Scarbrand here is just soloing half the army. Alright, looks like that's victory. He's just being pushed around now. <laughs> Getting a soul from Nurgle anytime soon. Rage and fury. All right, we'll end it there. Decisive victory. Yeah, they spawned in the wrong portal. <laughs> That's for sure. Poor good art, poor greases. Uh, we will probably take replenishment from this, and then yeah, I'll just move into encamp starts. Although the, if it gives me a lot of skulls, then maybe we'll just take the extra skulls. These uh, scram launchers, though, they seem pretty uh, tanky, but not really that effective. Weird how they had it on the front line. I don't know if they're like supposed to be relatively good in melee or something. The way the AI uses things is always weird, though. Yeah, let's take a little bit of replenishment. It's fine. Okay, we'll more or less fully replenish on the way over here. Cool. Alright. Uh, do we send an army over here to help with this? <laughs> Don't know. What we are going to do, though, is move this way. Actually, income from trade and income from all build buildings plus 8%. Hmm, nice. Where's this settlement at? Is this down here? Now, I guess I'm going to have to march it back to Uzkalak so that we don't lose that to Yegor Ulrikov, who's come along with another full stack from Kislev. I don't know if you can reinforce these battles. You can. It's so weird. Why do I not get the ability anymore? Like, without that ability, it makes things so much harder. I'm going to check afterwards. There's probably, like, a... Maybe it's the uh, extra skulls thing or something. It's, like, preventing me from doing it. Or it's just, like, a bug. <laughs> Could be. Right, let's wait for my other bloodthirsters.
We can just put ourselves up on this hill. Totally fine. Because these can fly anyway when they come in. They just got annihilated. <laughs> the downhill charge there did so much damage. These are much more resilient to a charge than the others. Definitely getting the better of those though, that's good. If we can pull off again with these guys. Alright, let's grab all of these and we'll kill the Herald. I think we've almost won anyway. Yeah. Don't need to run him down since it's a portal. Good stuff. Uh, this one was pretty important to get rid of because all of the settlements in this area are very low level. It also just gives us more cash we can use to build our new army. Did lose all of my blood letters, unfortunately, but these two armies are probably just going to sit there doing nothing. I don't know why it takes so long to load sometimes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It wasn't even that much of a complex battle. Cool. Uh, yeah, so do we have like a modifier? Oh, I don't have a skull throne. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm, a dumbass. I'm so used to having it that I forget that <laughs> you have to refresh it every now and then. Okay, let's make this guy immortal. Alright, well that solves a lot of problems. annoying because we would have got uh, <laughs> a bunch more money and stuff. There's another imminent rebellion here. Really? Alright, well this guy is going to Go. carry Go on through God. the lands of Grand Cathay. I really like the architecture. Of these. It's really cool. We have damaged buildings. Do we want to fix them? Probably not. Uh, 
Uh, I'm just switching that one over to this one because this has blood letters as its primary garrison, which is good for us against the uh, against the dwarves. Right, the other thing we can do with these is just like maybe colonize. Uh, I don't mean to double click on them, sorry guys. Uh, swinging the camera across, let's just upgrade that. Okay, all good. How's this army doing? Oh, I actually finished this recruiting next turn. There are a couple of slots. I don't know what I want to add. These have siege attacker, right? Yeah. I guess we'll just grab a couple like Minotaur great weapons and then maybe some chariots and a couple of soul grinders, something like that. Let's end the turn. Oh, I should have had that guy. Get rid of that one. Beginning to use my agents now as well. Oh, would you look at that? They're going in for the attack again. I'm not going to bother this time. It's a waste of time. Or did they just sack it and run off again? <laughs> Stupid dwarfs. Right, nice. He's got supervised extra campaign map movement range. Is always welcome. movement range there as well is fantastic. Drawn to destruction. Great. Oh wow, did we get all of these? <laughs> what a damn. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's make some more money. Oh, we've got that battle to do. Oh, that's going to take a little while though. So we'll do some other stuff in the meantime. Uh, looks like do you take me for a wazzle? This fella is moving up on us. The embodiment of fear. Where did the army go? They're pretty in ambush stance somewhere. I would assume. Wrath decree. Oh there they are. Slaughter them. <laughs> Found you. I'm gonna pop this onto this chap. And then we're going to put this onto this chap. And we're going to go in. Destroy another Kislev army. Not as many ice guard this time, so it should be relatively simple. There is a bear, though. It's amazing how they just keep pumping out these armies. Chaos warriors of core. I'm gonna leave them on the flanks again. All right, let's go. Scars for the sky flow. Let's get all of these into melee. 
Uh, with that, we'll bring out the portal with those. It's utterly ridiculous when we can just spawn like so many units out of nowhere. Like a lot of these units are already dealt with. Delete that ice guard unit. Savage duty. I don't know where the bear went, but it died very quick. Wow, did you see how much damage he did when he landed then? Holy moly, that charge is insane. Look all the charge bonuses on him. That was just nuts how much damage he did. Well, that's pretty much victory, so let's just speed it up. Jobs are good. And We'll just end it there, because we're not going to catch that cav unit. Wow. That was just pure domination. <laughs> I don't know why, but I keep expecting the ice guard to do something useful, and then they just kind of suck. <laughs> like, just kind of chunk a unit before it hits the front line or something. And just at least do a little bit of damage. Like pea shooters. I guess maybe this guy's like low level. They're not bonused. You know, they don't have any unit ranks. So they're just not that good. Compared to all of my bonused <laughs> unit ranked units. Some more money there, thank you. I really wish that all of these exalted bloodthirsters had the same ability as Scarbrand. Just run about the place whenever they win a battle. They'd be so broken though. Such blood. It will spill. We can get in the greater gate of corn, that's good. And Guess we'll just do speed on this guy as well. Nice. All right. Well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. But next time around, uh, we will engage the demon. And I'm not going to order us of it. We'll play it out. I uh, will take that soul, the soul of Nurgle, and then we'll continue annihilating Goldtooth uh, so that he can't keep up with us, because he's the only one that is close enough to catch us. So yeah, we wipe him out and then no problem. <laughs> we just win by default. Lovely. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Yeah,